So yeah, like the two week thing seems a little like, oh really, two weeks? Even right? if I'm feeling good? I think works is like, well yeah, I think ours is the same. I think it's probably two weeks. Unless you're testing negative, right? But so like, both times I've gotten COVID, like, I tested yeah. positive for a while. Uh, Dang, like, yeah. I wasn't testing negative. I guess we are. My, my parents just got a booster on oh, really? Friday, I think. Nice, I know, I want to get one. Yeah. I uh, haven't paid any attention. find out like when is it all November oh so it's coming out pretty yeah, soon yeah. here yeah we'll see she has a huge base she has a huge following you know people wanted her to run 
so she's doing it for the right reasons for sure. Yeah. Cool. Yeah, that's exciting. Oh my gosh. Yeah, I'm right over. I really watch am. over, watch over. I mean, of course my first instinct is like, why are you doing it? It's like a lot of stress. Oh, so, so, come on. Yeah. Nick, watch it, watch it, Nick. She has good intentions. Yeah. yeah. Um, you know, a lot of retired people just chill out. And that's fine. But, you know, they're just like living off the fat of the land and like vacationing. But she's very much like, I want to make sure my community is headed in a good direction. Yeah. Especially with water, because in Healdsburg, the drought is just really severe. Okay. They're like metering everyone's water, oh. so you only get so much water or you pay fines. Oh yeah, oh, right. So there's like a lot of water scarcity, nobody, nobody. so she just wants to like, Come on. Oh, God. So close. she wants to be an advocate for like making a plan with water and making sure that like, um, you know, we're doing the best we can to spread the water out fairly and not over consume and make sure the vineyards and businesses aren't, you know, if you're making the common day resident like meter their water, then businesses and wineries need to be metering their water and being diligent about it too. For sure. Yeah, that's good. I feel like in our high school it was a lot of like PE teachers. So well, then exactly. there wasn't the grading. Yeah. Grading, right. right. So it should be PE teachers. I think it sometimes is. Like I know when our coach was fired last year, our PE teacher took over. Okay. Our coach was fired last year That's because crazy. he was throwing balls at the girls' butts. Like basically sexual harassment. Like just like as they walked by. Yeah, he's like, like really you know. I mean, I think he was trying to be silly, but it was inappropriate, and the girls reported yeah. it like, it's creepy. Yeah, what? Throwing things at our butts. So. And so he got fired. Good. And so then they didn't have a coach, which sucks because they wanted a coach, right? But then they're also like, he's creepy. No, that's so weird. then the PE teacher That's took such over. an obvious line, I feel like, to well, not be crossed. Crazy. Like. Well, I guess some girls didn't care, knew it was a joke, and of course some girls felt uncomfortable. They didn't want to say anything because they don't want to get their coach in trouble. Yeah. So yeah. eventually it came out and so then they came to me and they're like, please coach. And I'm like, oh, I really can't. And then the PE teacher did it. Which I agree with you. The PE teacher should do it. Yeah. We have a bunch of PE teachers too. They should definitely have to do it. Totally. Because PE teachers get paid the same as everyone else. Like no one realizes that. It's really? not like English and math get paid higher. Wow. An English teacher that's worked seven, or excuse me, PE teacher that work, has been around for seven years like me, we get the same pay. Huh. Which, no offense, but my subject is core. Like, yeah. beautiful way. And my 
kids get tested, like, have to grade essays. You know, you make them run the mile and do jumping right. jacks and set ups. What do people do? Do they have to take any kind of, like, yeah. data? I think they do. Remember how we used to have to do, like, push-ups and crunches? Yeah. Like, we used to have to do stuff and document it. But, like, it's pre grading it. I almost only remember there's that no in like essay. elementary school. Or you're not giving any feedback. Yeah. yeah. Yeah, there's no grading, there's no feedback. It's like if you dress down, you get an A. If you dress down and you do it. So that's the main thing. You see on the report card, like, students would not dress down. Yeah. And it's yeah. like, okay, big whoop. Right. <laughs> I know, I'm like, wow, that, per that PE teacher gets paid the same as me, and I have to like grade their reading, writing, speaking, and listening. And they just have to count push-ups and whether the kid dressed down. Right. I mean, they also have a bigger class though. But still. No, yeah. They just line up. They're all lined up on numbers. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> Woo! The main problem is I should have become a PE teacher, you guys. I don't know what I was thinking. Me and my friend Alex always think that we're like, oh, we're English teachers. We should have been PE teachers. I like, feel like you get to be outside yeah. every day. Like you get to play a bunch oh, of games. God. That's so much more fun <laughs> than sitting at desk. <laughs> yeah. That's funny. I know. I have mad respect for PE teachers. They have to like get forty something kids to do something. But I don't even remember who are PE. We didn't, I didn't like have PE we didn't. because we would just do sports, you play sports, you sports don't PE, yeah. Cool. yeah. Our PE, yeah. You only have to do it like one year, right? Or did you not have to do it at all? I don't remember. We had to yeah. do it one year. Maybe one year. We had to do it ninth grade, and then after that, if you played sports, you didn't have to do it. Yeah. That's what my dad and mom were saying. They were like, wow, Tara's so 